we are going to move on to what are called, well, methods of movement or uh, movements across cell membranes. The very first topic is diffusion. I'm going to bring up this is the uh, this is the ebook that goes along with this short course. Um, anyway, the word passive means it does not require energy, does not require ATP. Cells rely on extracellular materials or water, which water is a different subject, but sometimes um, there are substances that can diffuse across cell membranes. And there are other times that a substance has to go through a channel or a carrier protein to get inside of a cell. So right here, the plasma membrane separates extracellular from intracellular material and is selectively permeable, allowing only certain substances to pass through it. Absolutely. I believe in previous, we've touched on this. Here is the plasma membrane. You have the phosphate head, the two fatty acid tails. The heads are hydrophilic, water-loving. The tails are hydrophobic or water-hating. Um, that just means that it, it can act as a, it, it allows certain things to cross over, certain things cannot. So diffusion, by definition, very simple. It's movement of particles from high concentration to low concentration. Now, solutes uh, oftentimes refer to solid structures in a solvent or water, a solution. Since from an area of high solute concentration to an area of low solute concentration, the driving force is a concentration gradient. It's a, it's a difference um, in the amount of concentration between one side and the other. Now, this is a very common uh, diagram. Now, don't let the, this is solvent, water, don't focus on that now. This is a sugar cube. You drop a sugar cube in, water is polar, the sugar molecules are polar. Water will start pulling the sugar cube apart, and that sugar cube will start to dissolve. Here, it's compacted in an area of high concentration, but you see as it dissolves, how the particles are spreading out. And then here you have a state where the cube is now gone. Um, there's not a, um, there's no longer a high concentration or low concentration. It's at equilibrium, but diffusion by definition is here's a high concentration of particles and they're moving outward toward an area where there's a lower concentration. So um, yeah, high solute to lower solute concentration. These are things that affect diffusion, the size of the particles or phase. This case, there's not really a membrane that's preventing that, but if you have a permeable membrane, the particle size depends on whether it can cross over or not. Temperature, molecules move faster at higher temperatures. They move slower at lower temperatures. So if this is boiling water, this cube is going to dissipate very quickly, just like this. If you put this in near freezing water, well, it might take a few hours. It's not going to happen quite as fast. The size of the concentration gradient, and that means the difference in the gradient. If you have an extreme high concentration of particles, like in an aerosol can, and you push down the top little opening to the aerosol can, what's inside the can comes out fairly quickly. That's also an example of diffusion. So um, they're inside the can, very compacted, and then you create an opening, and then the particles leave to an area of lower concentration. But it is a property of physics. The more molecules collide, the more they move to areas where there's less collisions or lower concentration. So, and a lot of times, uh, it doesn't say this here, but let me do this for a second. Bear with me. just want to make sure that I don't lose the share. But yeah, it's called diffusion or simple diffusion because there is another type of diffusion. So that is a good introduction for diffusion.